Elon Musk's post about CNN managing the debate between Trump and Joe Biden touches on several key aspects of media coverage during high-stakes events. Here are a few points to consider, first, praise for moderation, Musk commends CNN for handling the debate well, implying that the questions were fair and balanced. This is an important aspect of journalism, as it reflects an effort to provide unbiased coverage and equal treatment of all candidates, second, nonpartisan questions, highlighting that the questions were reasonable and nonpartisan suggests that the debate focused on substantial issues rather than political bias. This aligns with the principles of good journalism, which aim to inform the public without favoring one side. Third, public expectation, Musk notes that this is what the public wants from the media. The public generally seeks reliable and impartial information, especially during significant political events. When the media meets these expectations, it helps build trust and credibility. Fourth, influence and perception. As a prominent figure, Musk's opinions can influence public perception. His endorsement of CNN's performance might positively impact how people view the network's credibility and reliability. Overall, Musk's post underscores the importance of fair and unbiased media coverage in maintaining public trust and ensuring that democratic processes, like presidential debates, are conducted transparently and equitably. We can look at several sources of data including public opinion polls, social media sentiment analysis, and reviews from various platforms. Here's a breakdown of what the data might show, 1. Public opinion polls, 2. Social media sentiment analysis, 3. Reviews from various platforms, reviews on platforms like Trustpilot, Yelp, and app stores, for the CNN app, can provide qualitative data about people's experiences with CNN, example data points. Here are some hypothetical examples based on these sources, Gallup Poll, Twitter, We will read the post on X platform by Vivek Ramaswamy recently with 4 millions view as follows, if you were shocked by what you saw last night, as many of my centrist Democrat friends were, ask yourself why you were shocked. Biden's cognitive deterioration has been evident for a very long time, if you weren't aware of it, or were convinced those claims were right-wing conspiracies, that tells you something important about the quality of the news you're consuming the institutions you trust. Ask yourself whether it's possible that those same outlets which lied to you about the mental fitness of the sitting president might have lied to you about anything else. Look into the Russia collusion hoax. The fine people and bleach hoaxes, the origin of COVID-19, Hunter Biden, the evidentiary basis for climate change policies or pediatric gender-affirming care. Seek out original sources uncut video footage, instead of relying on the filter of mainstream media coverage, ask yourself this too who is actually running this country. Do you honestly believe Joe Biden is in charge? Is the deep state a conspiracy theory, or is it a reality hiding in plain sight? Last night was a sad moment for our country to see a mentally debilitated president, but it can still catalyze positive change open minds that were previously closed. Once you see it you can't unsee it, for my own part. I will never fault a fellow citizen for coming to these conclusions late. It's more valuable to unite around the truth than to gloat over who was right first. We're all human, we've all been wrong been misled before, but we are best off as a nation if we can openly admit it and improve in the future. We'll have our opportunity to do that this November beyond.